everyone, it's George Kroos, and I just want to do like a really quick tutorial, show you something that I've been using for years, and it's really simple, and it's actually just Google Forms. And the way I'm going to show to use it, I'm not going to go deep into Google Forms. I'm just going to maybe give you an idea. And this idea is sparked from something that I've seen uh, in my career as an educator that, especially at the elementary level, um, educators always do is what we call Dear Time. And Dear Time, uh, the acronym stands for Drop Everything and Read. And I think it's awesome. Lots of opportunity for students to read books that they're really passionate and interested about or interested in. And I love it, but I also have always challenged that um, we do a lot of consumption, but we need to do some creation. And so when we talk about deer time, uh, we also need to think about drop everything and reflect. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you just how to make a really simple Google form and just give you an idea and how to get it out and something you can use you create once and then you use it for the entire year and it's a great way to actually uh, see students reflections in one space but it'll watch their development as readers and writers so really just first of all you got to think about like what are the questions that we want to ask and we want to maybe ask for the entire year and I, I wrote a blog post talking about the importance of gratitude and um, this is actually located on my blog site at georgecrows.ca and you'll see the link uh, in the comments below and this is based on Tim De Tim Denning's uh, article talking about the most important way to measure your day. And he asked these questions, did I learn one new thing today? Did I help or inspire one person? And I love these questions, but I thought, um, because I'm really trying to focus on the importance of gratitude and what that does for my mental and emotional health. And so I added the question, did I show gratitude to someone who has had a positive impact on me? So I thought, hey, you know, variations of these three questions would be great things to ask our students really at any age level uh, of, of really something that they could reflect on and talk about every, you know, once a week or do something like that and actually see their answers and how they change over time. So I made this Google form and really when you're making it, uh, it's, it's pretty simple and I'm not going to go deep into uh, Google Forms, but you know, a lot of times what I ask, I'll, I want to make sure that I know their name and uh, want them to write it the same way every single time and I'll tell you why in a second. I answer these questions and you choose which ones you think are really important to answer each time and whatever questions you ask, what I always encourage is at the end, just put other comments, give your students an opportunity to just share any insights. They might uh, connect and tell you something that you might not ask. And I think it's a really great space uh, to learn something a little bit new about our students. And so I created this Google form and you can actually go here and I've uh, used my, uh, my own name and I filled it out a couple times, used my daughter Clea and I'm gonna use my mom's name. Uh, so I put Mary C, uh, something here uh, and I'll just say I helped my son. Uh, I showed, or I shared gratitude uh, with my grandkids. Okay, and then I'll, and then other comments, uh, I'll just write none at this time. And sometimes people will leave it totally empty. It's an optional one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click submit, but when it submits, how I set it up is when you're creating the form, you'll see questions or responses. And for the responses, it gives you this variation. I'm not a big fan. So I always click on um, the form or the spreadsheet. And I use this in so many aspects of my life and so i'm going to submit this question and you'll see on the google form uh, it's going to pop up right away so you saw it pop up and what i love about this you capture all these questions and i can put them in a format so i can see them a lot easier but uh, you'll see i filled it out once my daughter filled it out i filled it out again and then my mom filled it out and you'll see this and the reason why it's important that you just create one for the entire year, is you can actually go to um, the, the name column and go to the name and then go data, sort by column A to Z. And now you see all the George responses in the same place. 
And what I do is because I want them all this so I can see all of George's responses, all of Kalia's responses, all of Mary's responses. And I want to see them throughout the year. I also do this uh, with, you know, information like this. I'll just put them in a different color to highlight them. So then you'll see Kalia, I'll just do it in whatever color. And every time a new one is added, I'll actually just put it sorted again because all new responses will be in that space. So I can quickly see, uh, you know, George's responses throughout the entire year in one space. Then we have, for example, parent teacher conferences, we have those conversations. And what I have beautifully in this one space, hey, you know, look at George's writing uh, on the first day compared to the 10th day. Look at the differences in what he's actually sharing. And it's all beautifully just sorted. And if you want to, um, you can actually create like a separate spreadsheet and just copy these and then do it so you don't show the other students information to parents and then just put all the George responses in a separate spreadsheet. And so you can do that as well. So the other thing too is I want this to be something that uh, we use the entire year. Like I said earlier, 30 seconds of your life to put this Google form together but use it for the entire year. And it's beautiful because it puts all these things in, in these spaces. So when I make the form, I'm gonna go to uh, this link where it says send, and I'm gonna go to this hyperlink. Now the hyperlink automatically has um, a shortened URL. So if you put it there, it will give you this one. Now, this is really important. You are never going to remember the 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 shortened term forms.gl slash capital D capital N small V capital you never remember this so I don't use that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this URL and I'm gonna go to a site called bit.do and I love bit.do just to be, to be honest you not many people know about it so it has more options for varied links um, but you don't have to sign in or anything you can just shorten things and so I'm going to uh, put in the URL and then I'm going to name it and I'm just going to go Kuros Gratitude 2020. Click I'm not a robot and then shorten the link and you'll see it right here. So if I go to uh, if I go to this link I'm just going to copy that real quick and paste it there so now you'll see the form right away. So what's really easy to remember the entire year is, hey everyone, just go to bit.do slash Kuros Gratitude 2020. And you remember it, you have it in that same space, you can name it whatever you like. So you can go back consistently over and over again. So in, in those 30 seconds, um, you can use a Google form to basically capture uh, learning, gratitude for the entire year. And you can actually use that um, to kind of assess uh, students writing throughout the year and see how they develop. And it's in one space, you're not capturing all these places or, you know, capturing all this evidence from, you know, all these different documents, all the different spaces. And it's one of the reasons why I love using Google Forms. And to be honest, as an aside, I use Google Forms all the time in the work that I do. It's something that if you use it and students use it, it's something they're going to use, you know, to the next phase of their lives. A lot of tools that we have in education seem to be like school focused. And then we leave school, we never use them again. But Google is something I use all the time. And I think that's why I wanted to show you this and hopefully uh, it, it's really helpful. So I know if you use Google Forms, there's a ton of you know ways that you can actually go through it, a ton of ideas. I know a lot of people use it for surveys, but there's so many ways we can use it to connect with our students, uh, learn about them, they can reach out. And even though it's a simple thing and you know a lot of people say, well, this, this is really innovative uh, to use Google Forms. Using Google Forms is not innovative how you use it is the innovation. And so I just wanted to share that idea with you and hopefully uh, it helps you. I'd love to know uh, your thoughts in the comments, but if you choose to do this, I'd love to hear about that process um, throughout the year. Thanks for taking time to watch. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope this was helpful.